Hello artists. Today we are going to start our relief sculpture. So what I did first was I planned out the scene that I want to do. I'm going to do kind of like an under the sea theme kind of thing. And um, I just kind of like mapped it out. I didn't take much time on this. I just wanted to mark, I marked in blue where I wanted my relief to pop out from the background. Um, for your project, I would like to have at least three things, at least, of course you can have more, at least three things pop out from your background. All right, so after you have your plan, the next step is to take either your cracker or your cereal box. Um, I like to do these like, really big cereal boxes because then it gives me a lot of space and a lot of material to work with. So it's already flat, it's already broken down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background out of the inside. So I'm only going to use one side. And as you're cutting, if you like cut off like one of these tabs, save those because that could be like a detail. So I'm going to cut this down. So I just have a flat piece of cardboard. All right, save these because these are going to be your detail pieces. All right, so now what I want to do is I have this nice light cardboard that um, can be the background your scene. So it's up to you if you want to have it the vertical or the horizontal way. And you can use any paint you want for this. Um, I'm going to be using watercolor, but if you have tempera, if you have acrylic, that'll work really, really nice too. If you're using watercolor like I am, you may need to like let it dry and lay your colors over to get them the, like the color you want. All right, and while I let that dry, I can start the pieces for the middle ground and the foreground. I'm going to change my water though. All right, so while your background is drying, now it is time to um, create the things that are going to pop out. And so as artists do, I kind of like change my mind as, as things go along. I think I might um, make this pop out. I might not. We'll see how it happens. Um, I might have, I might skip this, but we'll see. So I'm going to draw the main things that are going to pop out, which are marked out in blue. Do it in pencil first. If you want to outline in Sharpie, you sure can if you want to, or a black marker or something like that. But um, make sure you draw it in pencil first so you're happy with it. I like, for this uh, step, I like to use the other side of the cereal or cracker box because it is the exact same size as your background, so you know that you're not going to run out of room. All right, now I'm going to start to paint my pieces. I'm painting kind of messy because I'm going to end up cutting these out later. So I'm not really worried about if I get outside the line. All 
All right, now that I have all of my areas painted, I'm going to have this dry before I start to cut them out. So now that I've cut everything out, if you ever have to stop the project, um, make sure that you keep these somewhere safe, maybe in like a Ziploc bag or something like that, just so you don't lose them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, pieces that are going to have our, um, our relief pop out, our details pop out from the background. All right, so um, you're going to need your thick piece of cardboard. And so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut them into like little pieces that you're going to stack up. And so that might, it might be five pieces that you stack up. It might be three. It depends on what height you want it to go. Like, I think maybe I want this to maybe be like five stacks high. So, and then maybe like the jellyfish, maybe it'll be like two stacks high fish maybe three. It depends on like what height, but this is in the foreground. So I want this to kind of like stick out a lot. All right. So what you're going to want to do, and it's going to be a little on the hard side because this is a thick piece of cardboard. So take breaks. If your hand hurts, remember to utilize the center of the scissors, flip it around so you can get some pieces going. So here I have one strip of cardboard and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that they're small enough but also like wide enough for it to be sturdy enough for this to be uh, glued underneath so let me show you an example so I'm going to cut them they don't have to be perfect but you do want them to be able to fit nicely on top of each other so I have four right there so I need to make some more All right, so what you're going to do, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you with the fish first. All right, so behind the fish is where you're going to glue it, or behind whatever your object is. So I'm going to get a glue bottle, and I'm going to make this as high as I want to. So I'm going to stack one piece, put some more glue on, another piece. Just make sure, remember, to make sure that they're small enough so you don't see them if your piece accidentally goes like off of the page that's totally fine that looks cool what did i say three high i think maybe three would be fine it's looking kind of nice maybe i don't know three i think three is good and then i'm gonna stick them right there it's probably gonna like wiggle around a little bit so just like let that dry. But that's going to be the process of how you're going to be making your relief pop out. This guy, he's going to be in the background. So I'm going to only make him pop out with just one. This might happen. So I discovered like, when I put my my foreground down that this was really leaning and it was leaning onto the background. That's okay if like it does it a little bit, but I want it to be supported. So I'm going to need to take this off and put um, another stack of cardboard right there. All right, and there we go. There is our relief sculpture. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with.
Thanks for watching.